guys. Okay, sorry for the change, guys. I figured I was wearing a um, jersey for a beauty video, so I figured I need a regular girl t-shirt. So I just threw on this um, this t-shirt that I had gotten from, I think it was Walmart. Um, but I like it because it's pink, and it has, if you can see, little mesh in it. Um, so I figured it would give a lot of girliness to the videos. Oh, and sorry for the mess in back of me. Um, I went shopping for my room so I can redo it and everything. Um, so just, you know, pretend it's not there. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a sock bun tutorial. It is so easy, and I really love this hairstyle because it is so versatile that I can go from, let's say, a, a bowling date to a big fancy dinner, and it'll just fit with the event. Um, I've gotten so many compliments on it. And it really does not even take that long. Everything is heatless. Um, it'll probably take me, I want to say about less than five minutes. As you can tell by the, the title, I'm going to show you how to do it for long and short hair. It is just so easy. Um, Alright, so let's begin. All you need to do for your first step is you're going to have a big bun on your head. Let me scoot back for you. Okay, you're going to have this big bun on your head, so figure out where you want it. Um, when you find out where you want the bun, put your hair in a ponytail where the center of the bun will be. Now that my hair is in a ponytail, what you're going to do for your next step is take a knee-high sock, and at the toe, you're just going to cut it with scissors. But I'm not going to use a knee-high sock. I'm going to use a leg warmer. It could be any color, um, but if you have light blondish hair I would say use something towards your color because if not your hair is so thin that you can see it but if you have extensions and your hair is real thick use any color I'm gonna be using a purple um, leg warmer and all you have to do is just fold it all the way to the bottom Okay, now that your ew, now that your leg warmer or your sock is in a ball, it's gonna look like a little donut. Um, you're just gonna grab your hair. You're just gonna put it around your hand like a like a. If you're just gonna put it on as a bracelet, grab your hair and just go up. But instead, you're not going to pull it through. You're just going to place it. Make sure you have hair left over. And you're just going to place it over. And try to have as little much hair as you can right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try to keep it. Keep as much little hair as you can right here. But split your hair. And it's going to look something like that. And then you're just going to roll, roll your hair down with the sock. And as you, as you could see, it closed just like on its own, so you don't have to worry about having color being seen. And that's what it's going to look like. You can put hairspray in it if you want to just have it flat, but I don't like having it flat. So I'm going to pull my hair just a little bit. I'm just going to pinch right here and pull it. So that way it gives it a little bump. Because I don't, I don't like when it's flat. It makes my head look like tiny. And I feel like with a little bump it makes my head look even. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me see. This is what it looks like at the top. It just looks like a little donut. And it was just that easy. If you like it, comment below. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do it for short hair. Okay, so all you need to do for your first step is just put your hair in a ponytail on wherever you want the center of the bun to be. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your leg warmer or your sock. You're going to grab your hair and you're going to pull your hair through and push the leg warmer or the sock all the way down on top of your head. And then what you're going to do is you're going to split your hair and your hair is going to look like this. My hair looks like this because it's longer but yours is going to be more choppy looking from the bottom. You're going to take your hair and you're just going to spread it out. Okay, so make sure that your hair is as spread out as it's as it's going to get. And then you're going to take another hair band. You're going to put it in the middle, this one's new, so I'm like kind of stretching it out. You're going to take your hairband and you're going to just pull it over the sock bun just like that. Just like that. And because your hair is short, you're not going to have all of this. What you can do is you could just grab a bobby pin and just pin it back. And it'll kind of look something like that. And it'll look the same, as you can see. It'll look just the same. But if you like this look and your hair is long, what I like to do is I like to get my hair, all of it, that I have, I like to split it. I brush it out with my hands. I'll braid it. I'll braid it just like this. And with a bobby pin. Sorry. Gather up all the hair that you have over here and just move it in the back. And with, wrap it just like this across the bun. And with a bobby pin, you're just going to place it right there so that way it can hold. And then do the same with this. With this piece, you're just going to braid it. I don't know how to braid fast, so. And then your braid is going to look like this. And with another bobby pin, you're just going to wrap it. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to do this so y'all can see. You're just going to wrap it around. And with the bobby pin, of course, you're just going to pin it. And then this is what the bun, the sock bun will look like for the shorter hair or for the longer hair with the braid. Alright, well this is the look. I hope you like it. Um, comment below. Tell me what you think. Give me your suggestions. Um, sorry it got dark after a while. It's just 8 where I am, so the sun is gone. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Oh yeah, loca. Ven pa' acá. Come here. Oh yeah.